In this video, the goal is to construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to set our compass on point A. And we're going to make sure that we set the length of the compass to a length that is greater than half the length of line segment AB. So we're going to extend this compass to about this length because we can ensure that this length is greater than half the length of line segment AB. So now what we want to do is we're going to swing an arc and we'll swing the arc, we'll make it big enough so that it's roughly a semicircle. So what we're going to do next is we're going to move the compass to point B and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep the length of the compass exactly the same. It's crucial that you do not change the length of the compass for this step. So what we're going to do now is we're going to swing another semicircle in such a way that the new semicircle intersects the original one twice. So we'll note here that these two arcs intersected in two locations. So we're going to label these points of intersection C and D. So we'll call the original, or well, the first point we'll call C. We'll call the second point of intersection D. So now next what we need to do is we're going to construct a line that passes through both points C and D. So starting here, and if you're doing this at home, you're going to use a straight edge. We're going to connect these two points of intersection. Make sure that it passes through a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. So now we note that line CD will give arrows just so that we know that this line will go on forever in either direction. But we could say that line CD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So next what we want to do is we're just going to label this intersection point here. We'll call it E. So now by definition of the perpendicular bisector, we could say that angle CEB measures 90 degrees. So we could put our symbol here for 90 degrees. And also, the measure of angle AEC is also 90 degrees. And then finally, the last thing we could say, since line CD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB, we could say that line segment AE is congruent to line segment EB. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on constructing a perpendicular bisector. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.